Hi guys, if you are using flyers to advertise your business, it's a good idea to add tier of sections at the bottom. This allows the customers to take your name and your number if they are in a rush and they can contact you later. I will show you how to do that quickly using Excel. So let's start with a new sheet. So before we start a flyer, we need to set the size of the page so we can make sure that the tear of sections come at the bottom. Let me show you how to do that. So let's go to page layout and select and select the size of the flyer. So let's go with A4. What this will do is it will draw a perforated line on the right and on the bottom of the page. So here you can see where the page is ending. So a few rows above where the page is ending, let's start entering the text that we would want to put in our tear of section. So the two things you would want to put here is the name of your service, so my service name, and you want to put your phone number. Now we want to put the phone number in the same cell. So the way to go down in the same cell is to use Alt and Enter. So my number is 020-444-4444. So there's an example. Now this is that's showing the text in a horizontal way and we want to show it vertically. So what we'll do is we go back to the home menu and we change the alignment from here to rotate text up. Now can you see it's turned around. Now we can adjust the size so that it fits in the space that we need. We also want to center align it so it's in the middle of the page. So we center align horizontally and vertically. And next thing we draw a full border around that. So we can choose thick outside border. Now can you see there is some space left on the left and right side, which is a wasted space. We don't want that space. So what we do is we go here between cell A and B and just double click. And it squeezes it to fit in the size. Now to copy it down to the other cells, all you do is put a formula saying equals and the previous cell and the value gets copied. Now you can see it's still in the other format. We want it to be in the same format as the text we wanted. So we're going to make use of the format painter for that. So let's go to the first cell. We click on format painter and we apply and this will change it to the same way. Now we want a few of these coming in here. So the way to do is, is let's select the first one, click on Format Painter and drag and select a few of the cells that we need. Okay, same way what we'll do is we'll take the formula that's in here and paste it in these cells. The reason I'm going past the page here is because they're going to squeeze now to become this size and a few more of these will then come into our text. So let me show you that. So I'm on cell B46. I do copy. I select all this and I do paste. Next, go to the top here where you're seeing this triangle. Let's select all the data here. And again, we go between cell A and B and double click. What you will notice is it has now squeezed all of them to fit into the space. We have one extra one here that we don't need, so I can go right click and delete. Okay, that's how you can add these pieces at the bottom. Let's see now quickly what we can do on the top. Now on the top, this is our complete flyer. So first thing is we want to get rid of all these squares. So we can go to view and we unclick grid lines. To add some fancy text into here, you can go and use insert. And here you got two kinds. There's a text box which you can use to add some text, or you got word art that you can use some fancy styles. So let's try with this one. That's my text, and I want to write the Do you hate mining? So this is the question that you want to ask your customers what's their pain point? This will attract their attention, so we're going to put this in bold. 
we can also include some pictures in here so let me go here copy and we go paste after that we make use of a text box so we go insert text box and then you say what benefit is your service providing so we can say we can iron your clothes while you sleep so let's select this text and we go into format now and choose the color we want so we could change the color of the, all the text to be more visible and we can also increase the font size and let's make it go to okay so this way what you can do is add the different text in here so let me show you an example so here's one we have created so we got text we got pictures and here is the action of what we offering and here is our contact details and in the bottom is all our theorems okay so once you got this and you can print it a good tip for you is once you print it out put a tape just before the area where you can tear it so that when the customers tear it they don't hear your advertisement also another good tip is to take out one of these out before you put it on the pin board which gives in the impression that there are other people also that are interested in your product and they can they'll be more interested in using it